In its third year of running, the Active Swindon Challenge not only gives you a fantastic opportunity to keep fit, but there are some amazing prizes up for grabs, an iPad being one of them. Let's find out more. The Active Swindon Challenge is aimed at absolutely everybody in Swindon, so individuals, families, colleagues in the same workplace would like everybody in Swindon to get involved. Uh, you can get involved by signing up at the website below and when you sign up uh, you start to log your journey so every time you go out uh, walking or cycling or taking trips by public transport um, you log those journeys and earn points for logging the journeys and that all contributes towards a leaderboard and different tiers. There's lots of prizes involved in the Active Swindon Challenge. Um, anybody who logs at least one journey on the website will receive a free water bottle just for taking part. And then there's different tiers. So there's a bronze tier, a silver tier, and a gold tier. And anybody who gets to silver tier or above will be entered into a prize draw to win an iPad. Um, and there are also lots of uh, other spot prizes like cinema tickets and shopping vouchers. Walking, cycling and public transport as an alternative to car use is great because um, it's free, it's fun, it's easy exercise and you can fit it around your daily routine really easily. So this is the third year of the challenge. Tell me, how did the idea come about? Well, we've run the challenge for the previous two years, but it was then a cycle challenge to try and encourage Swindon people to get on their bikes and do plenty of journeys on two wheels. But this year we thought, well, why not widen that out? There's so much going on in Swindon in terms of walking and getting the bus. Um, so we thought we'd encourage people to do that more, perhaps uh, give them points if for any bus journeys they do, train journeys, and also the cycling and walking as well. So it's more inclusive, more people can take part this year. So the main aim is to reduce congestion in Swindon, so we're trying to get people to think about this short journeys they do you know there's people that walk to the gym or they just walk a half a mile to the shops and that could be done on bikes it could be done on foot or slightly longer journeys you can do on buses and trains so we're trying to get people to switch really from the car to do that and there's loads of benefits of doing that there's health benefits we want people to be fitter and healthier in Swindon and also a sense of well-being as well it's much more uh, pleasant to sit on a train and relax and read than it is to be sitting in traffic jams and swearing at uh, the queues in front of you it's been really good we've had hundreds of people literally over the last couple of years taking part in the challenge and we're hoping to build on that this year and get even more people involved and people like last year were doing phenomenal mileage sort of hundreds and hundreds of miles but that doesn't really matter if you do two miles or 200 because there's still an equal chance of getting a spot prize and we just want people to do something rather than do nothing and the feedback we got was great from the challenge people did email us afterwards and say that they'd really enjoyed it and when was the next challenge happening and there was somebody as well that said that without the challenge they'd have just sat around and, and not done anything at all but the challenge actually motivated them to get out and do those little short journeys and they felt much better for it. So I finished my first run that was so much fun and the best thing is I get my free water bottle. I'm going to go inside now and log my activity. Make sure you register too. From one very tired Sarah Williams at Swindon Web TV.